Hi, I'm Professor James Keterdot Karens, the head of the School of Chemistry of Surratnary University of Technology. And I'd like to introduce you to this School of Chemistry for, this is primarily for first and second year students at SUT studying chemistry who would like to get a little bit of review, overview of the School of Chemistry. And then you can go on to look at clips from individual groups to see which groups might be interesting in order to study your projects later. It's just a part of welcoming and helping you to find the right group for doing a project. But for other people, you're welcome to watch this clip. You may get some interesting uh, strong points of the School of Chemistry for your future reference and maybe you want to study with this. That's great. So the goal of the Serotonary University of Technology School of Chemistry is to establish excellence in chemistry and biochemistry. And we have several points to ob objectives to follow. First is excellence in teaching and learning. So basically we want to help you to learn as to know chemistry as well as possible. In order to do that, we need an attitude of fascination, of really wanting to know about how molecules work at the and how science and the universe work at the molecular level. And I think it's really a fascinating area, so it should be uh, quite interesting to you to follow. Second, we need excellence in research because we need to learn to search for the truth. How do things work? How do they really work? And to share it with other people through publication. We also want to show concern for students. The faculty at the School of Chemistry are always very interested in helping students. But at the same time, we need students to learn to take care of themselves. So we need to build the competency, the ability to think on your feet, to enjoy science and have a good high competency, a high level of ability to do chemical tasks and to think in terms of chemistry, biochemistry. And finally, we want all of us, staff and students to have a concern for society in order to provide service for establishing chemistry in the uh, society and also doing research to help solve society's problems. For instance, right now, we have a big problem of COVID-19 pandemic, and a lot of biochemists, medicinal chemists, other chemists are working very actively to try to find solutions for that to prevent people from dying from this uh, disease. So in the School of Chemistry, we have 20 faculty right now, 10 men and 10 women. And all of them have PhDs by rank, three professors, five associate professors, seven assistant professors, and five lecturers. And we also have three support staff to help students and staff to get things done and help to answer questions. So if we look at the staff in terms of branches of chemistry, we are split into five areas. I will start from the bottom here. We have in organic chemistry, physical chemistry, which we also include computational chemistry in that area. Um, and main function of our physical uh, research area, our physical chemists that we have. Organic chemistry and analytical chemistry and biochemistry. In our analytical chemistry, we include electrochemistry, although it has some aspects of physical chemistry as well. So we look in those areas, we can see analytical and biochemistry, we have four faculty in biochemistry five, in chemistry four, organic chemistry three, physical and computational chemistry four. Now the faculty don't clearly break into those areas, but those are sort of for their teaching emphasis. But in terms of research, we tend to have overlap in different areas as well. So if we look at the staff, I'm just going to quickly go through the faculty, and you can go and look at their individual clips for the researchers in order to get more idea about what they're actually doing. They're interested in studying in research. So I just go through the names. So Professor Sai, Brian Pope, Karat is our senior uh, 
am a biochemist and assistant professor Dr. Chen Chaisun. Uh, next, and then we have two younger electrochemists in analytical chemistry, Dr. Bianu Pinyo, Dr. Gaman Wat, Nachua, and they are all very active in research. In biochemistry, similarly, we have myself, Professor Dr. James K. Cairns, Associate Professor Dr. Darwin Sitape Tui, Assistant Professor Dr. Peda Kungawala, okay, in the immunology area, Dr. Sek Chunan Silpa, who like is very into protein structure and function, and Assistant Professor Dr. In inorganic chemistry, we have people mostly looking at uh, solid state areas and application of inorganic chemistry. So, Professor Dr. Jetupon Tieku, um, and also interested in heterogeneous halogens. So, Professor Dr. Rapti Rapiputka uh, is especially interested in hydrogen storage and hydrogen fuel cells. And assistant professor Dr. Tiernan Siri Tanon, um, interested in various aspects of solid state chemistry. Dr. Nerwat uh, Tamajak, interested in especially synchrotron applications. In organic chemistry, we have uh, Tanon and professor Dr. Tanon Manyam, uh, mostly interested in teaching, but some help with uh, research. As well. Assistant Professor Dr. Anini Kangao, very active in research uh, for cancer, particularly. Dr. Rumi Lai is sort of chemical biology, similar to some of the biochemists. The physical and computational chemistry, we have Professor Nasaka, Professor Dr. Anamura, both of these interested in uh, reactions in liquid system and sometimes in gaseous system such as proton transfer and proton uh, transfer in excited state for instance and we have a professor Dr. Wangnan who's also considered himself a polymer chemist so if you're interested in polymers you can talk to him and assistant professor Dr. Suwesuti Ragun who's quite interested in the solid state uh, computational chemistry, such as fuel cells and such. So all of our staff are very active research. This is just showing you down how many papers that have gotten into the scope of database and how many uh, H index they have. H index just tells you the level of citation in terms of the highest uh, number of papers that have an equal number of citations. So if you have, say, 17, and you have 17 papers, 17 or citations. So you can see that we have a distribution of papers in general, almost 60 papers, so almost 30 per chapter. And we have an age index 11, which is probably one of the highest, if not the highest, for chemistry departments in Thailand. Okay, much higher than many other departments in the university, in fact. Um, besides for these very active faculty, we have helpful support staff, including Ms. Nilabon uh, and Ms. Suderet and Ms. Chonisha, the other two being uh, teaching assistants. They can help you sometimes. Not teaching, in fact, clients will help you if you're helping to be a TA in some classes sometime. Um, so, altogether, we have roughly around 50 bachelor's and around 50 students and around biochemistry students. So, obviously, these numbers go up and down, but this is just approximately where we are at the moment. So, if you're in the School of Chemistry, you have the ability to use equipment that you read, but also have the chance to use when you do a project. So here's some of the uh, equipment that is used by the school of chemistry faculty in 
that for scientific and technological equipment. So mostly you see some of these as examples. But in addition to that, there's a lot of very high level equipment at the Synchrotron Light Research Institute on our campus. So many of you may have a chance to go to some project, some part of a project doing various techniques in this uh, building here, which is where the synchrotron in, in this round part is, is here. So in the School of Chemistry, we actually offer a course Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. We're still developing Bachelor in Biochemistry, but haven't gotten it uh, that. But we have a matter of science both in chemistry and biochemistry. We have biochemistry and biotechnology, and also cellular and molecular science for medical applications. So we have both masters and PhD in these, uh, all of these areas. So eventually we will have in biochemistry to go with it. And our students, of course, graduated, many of them they take on various trips and enjoyed themselves. The degree that you're interested in right now, Bachelor of Science in three, and there's a name in Thai and a uh, abbreviation in English. And so we have four different types of degree program for that. One is the regular chemistry degree you will get at any uh, department of chemistry in Japan. Second is academic joint MSc to try to get a master's in one year or maybe up to two years afterwards. So basically to have a faster chance to get a master's degree. This one is for active emphasis. We have cooperative education emphasis project emphasis, so you can either do more cooperative education or project and entrepreneurial emphasis. So basically, um, if you want to learn how to set up business to sell your chemistry after you finish, you will be able to take that program. So this is just a summary, and you cannot go through because you can see there's a lot of class names and all the courses Base science and chemistry of the first term. And this is like going through the five areas and basic classes in chemistry, in addition to other basic. In the third and fourth year, you advance classes as well as the chance to do project or cooperative education. You have a unit project, a unit project, or you can do cooperative education. Yet. If you do the bachelor to master's, it's basically the same except that in fourth year, you have to take some graduate courses, graduate courses, be a little bit more in depth than the ones that you took as a bachelor level. Okay, but they're not so different from third and fourth year level uh, graduate, undergraduate courses, just a little bit more in depth, okay? So it's quite a good opportunity if you would like to get a master's degree quickly. For the one with practical emphasis, basically you're going to take fewer classes in the third and fourth year, and instead you will have either two times uh, eight unit credit or two times cooperative education during that time, or maybe you can mix the two. So basically if you would really prefer to learn by hands-on more than sitting in the classroom, this might be of interest to you, especially if you would like to go out and work in a company for uh, getting a lot of experience before you try to go out in the job market later. Finally, we have the entrepreneurial program. And again, the first two years is basically like the other uh, versions of the program. And the last two years, we're going to have more classes that are not, instead of chemistry, they're going to be about what you need to know to set up a business. So that's going to be also very useful to you if you really think you want to, you have some good ideas in chemistry and you would like to use those to set up a business, or maybe you want to go to work in a company, but eventually you would like to set up your own company as well. So our students have been very successful in all this, and we can see that our students got a lot of awards and presentation, for instance, that 
Uh, Mot here got an award for her presentation in Japan, and uh, Yui here got an award for the science presentation here in the DPST conference, and Titima Dao got an award for the outstanding undergraduate in the DPST program for her paper and publication and work. And then the next year, actually, Yui Jongjit got the similar award from the DPST. So two years in a row, School of Chemistry at SUT got the student award for the DPST program for the whole country. And that's including physics, biology, mathematics as well, but all the awards coming to School of Chemistry at SUT. So we are doing quite well. Our students are doing an outstanding job, in fact, and I think you will all have the opportunity to do that, although I don't want you to feel pressured that you have to be that uh, well recognized. Okay, again, some students prefer to go and work in industry, and so, for instance, uh, last year we had these three students went out and worked in industry, and then they came back and present what they did. Some actually, this is actually an industry making cookies at a food company. This one at the government pharmaceutical uh, corporation, and this one at the national labs at nanotech. So basically, they can have different levels of how industry or government it is. And if you decide to go on and do a master's or even PhD here, you have the opportunity to study abroad as well, because we have double degrees for studying in biochemistry or chemistry at Osaka University, and also in chemistry at National Chenggung University in Tainan. We are also developing with other universities as well. So you will have some opportunity. So with that, I just want to thank you. I hope you will all go look at the clips for the individual professors and research groups. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And also you can keep contacting with the Facebook page for School of Chemistry, Suratnari University of Technology, which we will put updates like when someone has an award or someone has a presentation, some seminar of interest. Hopefully you'll be able to go in there and get updated about what's going on in the School of Chemistry. So thank you very much. Good luck. Talk to you later.